Hello, welcome to Star Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have 1 Peter 2.19. It says, For it is commendable for someone, if someone bears up under the pain of unjust suffering, because they are conscious of God. Okay. So, that's my little Bible verse. I haven't done my study with it, so hey, whatever. Um, Alright, I've got Two works in progress. I don't have anything off the hook. So the first one, I was crocheting along with the blue. And I literally stopped because I wanted to show you guys. So I'm making both of these simultaneously. Okay. And I got across. Oh, I'm not ripped out. Just now pulling it out of there. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Now I gotta find my hook. Anyway, so I was, I'm doing these simultaneously, and this is the blue cotton that I didn't like as that it came with the kit. Okay. And I didn't like the shawl. I had enough to do. There was a wrap, there was a, um, cardigan. Anyway, I did not like this cotton done as any of them. So I made up my own pattern and was just making an over thing. Okay. And I've got two and I'll make it as long as two cakes allow. Okay. So if it's short, it's short. If it's longer. It's longer. Um, I have decided that I want to keep out enough um, that I can, when I seam it up here and here, I'm going to put just a little strap and roll up the things and put a cute little button on top so that the sleeves are pulled kind of up. So, okay, I'm crocheting along, got to this. This is how much I have left. And before I added on the next skein, I thought, well, let me get the other one to the same, right? So I put this one across my lap and I crocheted along and I just kept going and going and I couldn't remember where the row was. So I got down and I got this far and realized that I didn't have, and I thought, huh, that ended on a row. So I went back and looked. Okay. It ended back here. Yeah. All of that double crochet right there. And that's a lot of yardage different. It really is. So, um, yeah, I just have this much more to go on this uh, row. And I'm a row ahead on this one than I am the other one. So, yeah, I'm going to have to watch that because that's a lot of yardage. Have you all ever had? I've not had that much difference before, I don't think. Um, because that's... That's quite a lot if you think about it. This is probably 90 stitches and I got, I don't know, a, it looks like about a four. So, um, let's say it's 100, so 20, so there's 75 double crochets difference in, and I'd say my tails, but I looked at my tails and my tails that I started with are both about that same long. So I didn't leave like, and, and honestly to do 75 double crochets, um, that'd be a long, long tail. If I, if I did, if the tail was the difference. So I just wanted to show you guys how much difference that was. I hope that if there's a difference in these two balls of that substantial, I'm hoping that I get the one that's a little bit longer on the shorter one and the one that's a little shorter on the longer one. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> I just really don't. So I am going to add on and keep going with that, but I just wanted to show you guys honestly how much difference, because it kind of shocked me on this one. And I do think simultaneously all the time, and this is the first time this actually been enough that it caught me off guard. That is three quarters of a row. And that is, I'm, I want to say it was like a, almost a hundred stitches. 
So, yeah, that's a lot. Okay, so I stopped on that and decided, well, I'm going to crochet something different. So, I got my book, and if you remember, that blue yarn came, and it said it was enough to do um, one of these other cardigans and blah, blah, blah. So, I really like this one. There was another one I liked, but I didn't like the blue yarn with it, and then I didn't find a yarn that I liked with it. But this one, I thought, hmm, I really like this one. And I thought I had found the right yarn for it. So, I had bought this yarn right here. Hey, Jazz, got it on sale. Um, it's called Grape Cheesecake. There's 306, 356 yards in each ball. The yardage is there. That's what I was like, oh, this is perfect. So I started it, and I absolutely hated the way it pulled. I was like, what the heck? So I ripped it. I did probably between five and ten uh, rows. <coughs> and considering it's a whole cardigan, so that was all the way, you know, I'm not a little person, so... That was quite a bit. Ripped it all out and then decided I'll just do something different. But what? <laughs> so pretty much I came up with this idea in my head and it's just going to be a square back and then it will be wide here and just go shoop and shoop and then sip up on the sides and the front. Um, there will be decreases here. But, yeah, and I'll have to make sure that I get it the same number of rows as the other one. And so it'll just be an overlap kind of sweater. And I don't know if it'll have sleeves or not yet. I have no clue. Depends on how much yarn I have. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you can tell I'm real into it. So. And I was like, okay, now I just need to make the square. But pooling was the other issue with it. So I thought, huh, what am I going to do to make it cool? Cute. So this is what I came up with. And if you look, it's the little, yeah. So wavy, I guess. Um, I have to make sure in this that I, the only thing I have to make sure of is that I do an even number of rows. The reason being is I did my chains, then I single crocheted, or actually I double crocheted in one, leaving a single crochet. Then I treble crocheted, double crocheted, single crocheted, double crocheted, treble crochet, double crochet, single crochet. So it makes that tall wave. The total of two rows is four stitches high. So on top of the double crochets, I just put more double crochets. But on top of the single crochet, I put a treble, and on top of the treble, I did a single so that it's kind of reversed. So giving two rows... Four, it's four stitches high. So here you can see the blue. I don't know. Well, you know, I struggle with this lighting. And I'm just, let's see here. here's a green one. There's a green stitch, and then there's a treble on top of it. There's a double crochet, and here's the next one with the single crochet and a double crochet in the green, or treble crochet in the green. So it makes a beautiful wavy little pattern and it gives it just a little bit of texture it's very springy so yeah um like i said the only thing that i absolutely have to do is make sure that um i do an even number of rows because if i don't it, it's not going to be even oops um it's not going to be even in height so um, I don't want the top of it where I go to seam it to be like this. I, I need it to be 
So I started on that one. Like I said, that's just a mess up here in my head. And it will get out eventually. Um, so I have noticed a pattern and that is in the evenings I crochet and in the, on the weekends I normally take a day and do some sewing at least once a, a week. So those are the only two crochet things that I worked on this week at all. You know, I got my Valentine's pretty much done. Um, I did do some sewing, which would be in the next, it'd be uh, Wednesdays. I record on Monday, make sure it's uploaded by Tuesday. I record on Wednesday and make sure it's uploaded by Thursday. So, um, all right. The rest of the week, let's see here. Um, the rest of the week was pretty, I cleaned out the freezer, cleaned out the fridge. Um, RJ came down and spent Friday evening with me quite a bit. And then he was back here on Sunday passing through. Um, so Friday night he brought me a shirt and we ate dinner and then him and I went and did the grocery shopping because Saturday roommate and I had the smoker going all day and we wanted to do, um, some things. His roommate stepdad has been in the hospital and so we just wanted to do something for him and, and his mom. So, uh, Anyway, RJ came down. He'd had two short sales. And when I say short sales, I mean, he normally gets day money, but he literally was there from 10 o'clock to 1230 one day, two and a half hours. And he normally gets, you know, two days. And the next day he was there from 10 o'clock to like 130, two o'clock. So yeah, not big sales. So therefore... He didn't make a whole lot of money, so I bought his groceries. And since he was going to do that, and it was going to be nice Saturday, one thing just led to the other. And while I went to the grocery store, um, I got stuff to put in the smoker. We got um, bologna. I got a little Farmland's ham. They're kind of like pressed ham, but they're really good lately smoke. We got some smoked sausages, bratwurst, hot dogs, hamburgers, pork chops, pork shoulder. Anyway, I got too much. We didn't end up doing all of that. We did the bologna and the farmland's ham. And then we um, did the sausages and the pork shoulder. So, yeah. We smoked those. And then Sunday, on our day's way back, he was here Friday, used roommate's um, dad's chainsaw sharpener thing. Sharpened some chainsaws. And uh, then we went grocery shopping. Uh, then, oh, excuse me. Sunday, well, oh, and he brought me something. We'll get to it here a little bit. Um. He dropped off a shirt, too, to have another button put on it. And then Sunday on his way back through, Saturday, we had the smoker running all day, and then I was sewing. And then Sunday, um, I cleaned up the house and all that kind of stuff. It got really cold Sunday. So on RJ's way back through, he got some of the ham, some of the uh, bologna that was smoked. I cleaned out the fridge and the freezer. So I made some dog food and I sent some dog food with him for his dogs. And then, um, there was some Reese's peanut butter cups that were starting to dry out the Reese's peanut butter bars. They're not peanut butter cups. Uh, they're the homemade kind. And then there was a thing of, of sausage that I left from Christmas that nobody had eaten yet. Sent all that with him. So on top of his groceries, he'd have that. Um, but yeah, we spent all weekend running the smoker and I worked on these and then I, I sewed on, on Saturday. You'll see those. And then I went through, kind of cleaned up, polished the floors and all that kind of stuff on Sunday, did laundry. The, the weather has snapped, but anyway, so RG did bring me a gift. Um, 
it's awesome. And there's a reason Legacy Customs. And there's a reason I'm telling you about this is she sent him two of these. And these are not vinyl. This is etched into these cups. And she has a laser etcher. It's pretty cool. And it doesn't wash off. So if you've ever done anything with vinyl, you know that you have to hand wash it. And eventually it always seems to wash off. This is not, it is etched in there. It is permanent. I don't know if you can, well, I guess the vinyl would be here too, but this is etched in. That is silver because there's silver underneath this. It matches this because that's what's underneath there. So she does these and she, <coughs> oh, excuse me. She etches them in and she is picking up sponsorship for RJ. Um, so, yeah, he gets all of these lovely things. And he did get me one. He told her, he said, you know, my mom's been there all along with me. And he says, if you do that, he's all need one for my mom. So she gave him two to start with as promotional products so that he can go and tell people about them. Oh, yeah, I love mine. I'll be honest with you. And I don't have the obligation that he does to actually tell people about it, but I love it, so I do. So, yeah. Anyway, it is what it is. I love it. Um, So, yeah, he brought me that. We spent the weekend just, you know, it was cold. It was, it is horrible cold. Um, It's supposed to be this way until, like, Wednesday evening. And then Thursday, it starts heating back up. So, it is what it is. But those two things I'm working on, the sewing stuff you'll see in the sewing section. Um, spent time with RJ, and pretty much that's about it. Um, other than staying warm, got the fireplace going, all that good stuff. Nothing real exciting. I do hope to have more done on that blue and that one. For next week, though, because I'm kind of super excited. I sometimes have trouble getting things out of my head. I don't really, I don't really um, write patterns. I just can see what's in my head. And my grandma used to say, just picture it and then do it. Okay, so that's what I do. I picture it and then I do it. But <laughs> recreating them is hard. So I always tell people I do one of a kind pieces because I will look at it. What did I do there? I am going to try and chart um, just the general section of that one because I really do like that bubble pattern. It, it has a nice texture. It's got a nice flow and it, it just is cute. This other one I don't have to chart because basically it's double crochets. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. I'm going to get off here. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and we will see you in the sewing section. Thanks for watching.